Hi, Missy Kay here on The Book Fix. Today my review is of The Burning Sky by Sherry Thomas. Uh, this book is a story of kind of parallel worlds. There is the mage world and the non-mage world, basically magical and non-magical. And they seem to exist side by side. And the mage world is ruled pretty much exclusively um, it's it's kind of a one the entire the entire world is ruled by this guy called the Bane. Um or well that's that's actually what the people who he rules over call him, but anyway, the Bane. And he is kind of a dictator, and the main characters in this story are two people who live in the domain, which is, you know, one of the countries that has semi-autonomy, like they're, they're, they have some power, but really, you know, the Bane from Atlantis, it's actually, yeah, from Atlantis, rules over the domain and, and most of the world. So it's the prince of the domain, um, and it's also this young mage. And she's an elemental mage, which there are, there's both elemental mage, mages and mages who practice subtle magic, which is, you know, kind of spells, but the elemental mages just have control over the elements without the spells. So that's kind of the background. And it's about how this girl, um, Iolanthe, realizes you know, she she comes into her powers, basically. She becomes very powerful and, and has control over all four elements, which she didn't at the beginning. And the prince is kind of her guide, um, and he's following visions that his mother had years ago because they want to overthrow the Bane. So it's basically... A magical adventure with a strong romantic thread throughout the whole thing. Now, since Sherry Thomas uh, got her start writing adult romances, it's not a surprise to find that she is also writing romance here. So, you know, it's but it's it's it is definitely a story about the magic and the politics and revolution or attempt at starting a revolution, I guess. And it is the first in a trilogy. So we'll see how that develops. But I I definitely liked it a lot. It was really fun reading about their world and the different, the magical system was really interesting. And the romance was fun to read as well. Um, the one criticism that I have, and maybe this is you know, corrected later in the series, but I really felt like there could have been a lot more, oh, not even a lot more, just, just some clarification about how the mage world and the non-mage world intertwine, because I couldn't quite figure out if they were, like, alternate dimensions of each other, or if, like, there are countries that exist side by side. It seemed like the non-mage world was not aware of the mage world, but not vice versa. The, the, the mage world knows all about the non-mage world. But I wasn't, yeah, I wasn't 100% sure on that. I just, you know, a map even would have helped a lot. It, yeah, it doesn't even have to be exposition if it was just a nice map. So I hope that that's explained a little bit better um, in the second and third books. But overall, I really liked this story. I'm really excited to read the second book, which is already out. So I really, I do recommend it.